Hello, Multimedia Elective Class. This is Mr. Jaglin. Sorry I can't be with you today um, at the Midwest Educational Technology Conference, but at least I wanted to walk you through real quick. Uh, and realize some of you are probably going to be starting doing some of your recordings of your narratives or of your voiceovers, uh, your stories basically. So to do that, what you need to do is you need to open Audacity. Uh, Audacity um, is up here on your, is, this for me is on my desktop. I'm going to double click on it. I do already have it open right down here. Uh, don't forget that as uh, we walk just uh, briefly through this, you probably don't remember much, but Audacity is incredibly easy to use. Um, all you need to do is when you're ready to record, just press that button right there which says record. Um, two things you may want to recognize. You probably can go ahead uh, and you're going to want to record all of your different segments. All of your different segments. Um, you may be able to choose them to write them separately or you want to do them all together um, or more importantly you may not be able to get them all on one take um, other people in the room may be talking and it may be better just to do to speak and record yourself in segments um, that's pretty easy to do here in Audacity so for example to do a basic recording I'm just going to click the record button say hello Gouda is my favorite type of cheese press stop rewind press play say hello Gouda is my favorite type of cheese. Okay, so you get the idea uh, how that works. Now up across the top, this button right here is called my selection tool. If I want to, I can go and I can single left click, and then I can delete by pressing the delete button, delete that stuff that I don't want. I can even do that inside of, inside of my text. So using my zoom tool, if I zoom in real close right here, I could even select and take out very small portions of text right there. And you're probably wondering why do I have two bars uh, here? What I have look like I have two tracks. There's really not two tracks. This is this is called a stereo track. That's a left and a right side. <coughs> if I use a mono track, I only have one. The stereo is a left and right. So that's my tool right there, uh, the selection tool, and now I can delete. Um, the last thing I'll show you real quick uh, is this is called your time shifting tool. Now, time shifting tool allows you to move your track forward or back depending on where it is in location. I'm going to zoom back out here. Um, okay, I'm zoom back out. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to record something else. Gouda is my favorite type of cheese. Colby Jack is also a crowd favorite. Okay, two things happen. You notice that when I started, when I started right here, it recorded some of what I had already said. I, I wanted to have, what would have worked is if I had pressed mute and then I would have recorded. I wouldn't have heard that at all before I'd gone. So uh, let's go back and hear what it says. It sounds like. Jeez, Cold Jack is also a crowd favorite. Okay, so I can see that everything from here back is just a repeat of what I'd said above. So let me get to that. Now you'll notice if I try to play this, if I try to play this, Oops, I had to unmute that first. <coughs> Say hello. Okay, Jack is also okay, so you heard that those are playing over the top of each other, but using my time, sh time shift tool, I can take and I can move this track out. Um, so now when I go back and play it. Say hello. Gouda is my favorite type of cheese. Okay, Jack is also a crowd favorite. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and save it. And here I have these. These are just called different tracks. Um, so if I wanted to, to keep myself sane, I could go and I could name this track, you know, and I'll pop this Gouda. I don't even know that's how you spell Gouda, but uh, that's there. And I'll name this track Kobe Jack. Okay. So that just gives me a little more clarity. Um, if I, the pr solo button basically says make the track that's solo uh, only play and mute everything else. That's just what that button does. So from here, I'm going to go to File Save. Now, there's one thing I really want you to extra special pay attention to here, and that is how it saves. Okay, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Just for our arguments right here, I'm going to save it to my desktop. Let me browse folders and save it to my desktop. And I want you to I want you to watch something here real quick. Okay. Save to my desktop as it goes here, because there are two things that you're going to notice about this. 
I forgot to label it, cheese. So there are two things you're going to notice immediately about it. Um, when I save it, there are two folders here. There's two things here. One is called cheese. That's my actual project folder. This is my data folder. That's where all the stuff that Audacity needs to have to run for my project is stored. So there are there you have to have both of these to make Audacity run. Um, don't try to open your cheese data folder and any open anything in there. It's just data junk stuff that Audacity needs to run. The actual file that, that is that is the Audacity project is cheese. So good luck with that and if you need to, you're more than welcome to watch the program again.